You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new regular face <laughs> to Greater Brockton. Paul Engel, our library director. Good to see you, Paul. Hi, Mark. Good to see you. Always good things going on at the library. Oh. I have to disclose this every time that I'm on the board, <laughs> and I love the library, and that was my first job and all of that. But we get good events, good things happening over at the library all the time. Who doesn't like a library? I, right? I, yeah, definitely. Okay? I know we're biased, <laughs> but I liked the library before I ever worked there or was on the board. So you got some good events coming up the end of July. Yes. Um, third in a continuing series uh, dealing with JFK with Professor Highlander. Professor Highlander, yes. This is the, the third in the series. It's about the, the legacy of John F. Kennedy. Um, he also has one this Saturday, or which won't be airing, but um, yeah. I hope people will be there for that. Um, the first one was, was remarkable. I was able to see it on, on, cable, on Community Access TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, our intern, uh, Jacob Hazel, through, for his intern project, he contacted the library, JFK library, to get some of the That's images right. that we were able to use. And we're hoping to do that again. I'm a JFK nut. <laughs> I have every book almost ever written on JFK. Probably some of my 1,500 books. I, I don't know how many of them are JFK, but there's a lot. Wow. Okay. And I go to the JFK library. I'm a member of the JFK library. I go to the forums, the Kennedy forums mm -hmm. that are over there that are awesome, that are also, they're televised, they're on the web. And it's JFK, JFK. I'm dying to go. I haven't been to the Edward M. Kennedy Institute yet. It's right next door. That's and right. now you can be a member. And we have passes for we do. the JFK. Yes, we do. I don't know if we do for EMK yet. EMK we don't, but we okay. do have passes in, uh, available through the library uh, that you can uh, check out. Uh, they're free, um, and they offer different discounts. It depends on whether it's a, um, a full full discount or if it's a percentage discount. Any discount is good when it costs ten or fourteen dollars a person right. or whatever it does. If you're going there with four people, mm -hmm. I buy a membership, for a family membership, so I can go there yeah. multiple times a year with four people. When I when my kids were little, I used to go Museum of Science, mm -hmm. Aquarium, Children's Museum. But you can get all of those at the library. You can. You can. Between the Library Foundation and some of our state aid, we get as many passes as we, as we can because that's expensive for people. It is. And that's to, a great deal, a great value from the, the library offers. So that's one. We also have uh, Dinosaurs, Fossils, and Birds, oh my, I guess, uh, <laughs> also as well on the 29th. Yeah, that's also on the 29th. That's happening downstairs in the Lingos Auditorium. Okay. Uh, the time is 2 to 3.30 on that one. Uh, Barnes Monteith will be presenting uh, at that. And Barnes has worked with Dr. Jack Horner out in Montana and other locations. And uh, Dr. Horner was a uh, consultant and an advisor on the Jurassic Park movies. Oh, wow. So there's some really good information uh, being presented on that day downstairs about dinosaurs. It's a kid event, of course. Right. Um, please sign up if you, if you, if you can. Um, but you can certainly stop by uh, if, if you don't. Um, I'm really looking forward to that one. I'll be, I'll be working that day, so I, I think I'll pop into that. There you go. My, well, my kids, when they were little, both dinosaurs, everything. We watched dinosaur movies. We read <laughs> dinosaur books. We had dinosaurs, and even though they're extinct, they were alive <laughs> all during that time frame when my kids were little. Um, uh, new things at the library. We have right. um, some staff. We have st uh, long-term staff that have worked hard throughout the years yep. that are now have been promoted to do the things, some of which they've already done, but now yep. they have the official title. Tell That's us right. about that. Uh, Paula Jones. Paula Jones is our new uh, head of, of reference services, adult services. She's been working in that department for a number of years, a long time, and she um, has, has just shown me a tremendous amount of experience with the library um, collections that we have in the, in the reference area, in the reference department, the fiction collections, the nonfiction collections, and the adult area. Uh, Paula has a really deep knowledge of Brockton history that um, when we were working together with the mayor's office on the Family Fun Fest, uh, I, she demonstrated just incredible uh, knowledge about downtown Brockton and, and, and the city's history. So we're really happy to have her on board as the as the new head of uh, of reference services. And then now uh, Melise Melise Vega Melise Vega right is now what's the title now? Um, uh, ESL coordinator. So okay. English is a second language coordinator, and I, I probably don't need to to really. Uh, most people, I think, know Melise and know what she does, but but she she has impressed upon me a, a tremendous drive and passion for for. Uh, um, uh, teaching ESL to, to, the, to the community of Brockton. 
uh, to championing championing uh, immigrant ideals and 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 uh, she just does wonderful work. It's great to work with her and and as you know, um, Melise and I worked with grant writer Paul Yamano, and we were awarded a ten thousand dollar grant from the Eastern Bank Foundation uh, to uh, to to put on display the the uh, dialogue series on the immigrant experience in Brockton. And I'm really looking forward to launching this. Uh, there's a lot of work we have to do to prepare, but I'm excited because we have this grant and it's one, the first grant. It's not the only grant, it's the first one. And we're we'll be get. with you on that one because Absolutely. one thing we are able to do very well here through people expressing their voices on community access is to tell the stories. Absolutely. We have shows in all sorts of languages other than English. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot from it. There's nothing better than uh, connecting with people in aspects of food, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. music, um, dance. Di dance, culture. I mm -hmm. mean, we got the big Cape Verdean festival coming up at the end of July. That's right. Uh, Haitian Flag Day is absolutely one of my favorite yeah, events because they that. brought out all the kids. Yeah, you yep. were there. I was there. I love that event. And Brockton's always been. It doesn't matter. Now we have new immigrants, but mm -hmm. we had we've had immigrants from day one. So right. If you really think of this country, it's a nation of immigrants. Yes, it okay? is. Okay. So, um, but it all comes together. The library is a community center. We're a community medium. Yeah. It all meshes together. I so was, I'm looking forward to it. I was really impressed at the at the BCA hearing that I attended about learning about how much you you do in this station. The BCA does uh, around the communities in, in Brockton. I, I was, you know, being a young or a young Brockton resident here and a newbie to the city. A newly minted. That's Brockton right. Resident. That's right. As of the 19th of June, um, you know, I, I I'm learning every day, and, I, and at that at that event uh, at that hearing, I learned a lot about what BCA does. And I, I, my hats off to you, Mark, and your that's, team. That's why we like it because it's all about community, and community <laughs> is where it's at. If yep. you think about it, um, we have great partners in Brockton. And we have a community college here. That's right. Um, we have a great educational public school system. There's other options: Brockton Public Schools, Southeastern Regional. Mm -hmm. We have Trinity Catholic. We use Cardinal Spellman. We we have all sorts of options for just about everybody under the sun over here, and it's a good place. I mean, I yeah. don't know. You, it, once you get Brockton in your blood, if people talk bad about Brockton, <laughs> those are fighting words, right? Yeah. So. Um, Come on down to the library, and we have all sorts Absolutely. of stuff to offer. That's so right. I just got the minute cue, so I'm going to shake your hand and <laughs> okay. say goodbye. Mark, thanks, Paul. Take care, and we'll see you again. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here on the City of Champions.